Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. So we're to coming today to the last verse in our Shin Division, the ninth, uh, the twenty first division of Psalm 119, and we're going to look today at verse 168. So if you have your Bible handy, why don't you grab it, and we'll turn there here in just a second. I'll read my translation. I want to thank everybody for following Daily Dose Radio this week. It's been a pleasure to teach you from this section of God's Word. Today we're looking at verse 168, and let me read that for you. I have kept your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Now you can see the verse 168, how the very first part of that couplet matches nicely with what we had yesterday in 166 and 167. Let me read that all let me read those five lines together. I have hoped for your salvation, and your commandment I have done. My soul keeps your testimonies and loves them very much. I have kept your precepts and your testimonies. You see, we have a repeat there, too, actually, don't we? My soul keeps your testimonies. I have kept your testimonies there in 168. But there's something more here, too. This is There's some devotional content here that is very, very striking. And it's that last line of the couplet. For all my ways are before you. Don't hide your ways, and don't try to get away with sin, because God sees all things. Happy is the man who can say to God, All my ways are before you. Remember Adam in the garden, how he tried to hide? How silly that was too, right? That that he could hide from the God that made the trees. And he's hiding behind the trees, trying to escape God's notice as he walks in the garden in the cool of the day. How he made skirts out of the, the leaves of the trees to hide his nakedness, like that would protect him from God in some way, or perhaps protect him from himself. Of course, it doesn't do that. Masks only hide the grossest nature, but they don't ever really cover it up or heal it. Cain, when he killed his brother, what did he do? He tried to hide it in the ground, but God said, Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. It had received the blood and now spoke. There are all kinds of examples of folks hiding things from God. Don't be one of those. Let me read to you what John Mason Neal said. He he gives it a, a really good point here. He says, let's see, the bad faith of the hider, and I love that, don't you? The bad faith of the hider is complete, albeit there is no concealment with God. And though God sees all the secrets of the heart, yet it is a good thing for everyone to open and spread out his soul before him and go to meet his light and heat. And that's so good. We need to open our soul before him, spread it all out. All the ugly, just lay it out before him. You can't hide it from him anyway. Why even try? What's the point in that? Let him know your sin. Speak it out loud. Say it to him. Ask him for healing and forgiveness. He'll bring it. Bring and meet his light, as Mason Neal says. His light and his heat. Let the heat burn away all the dross. Let the light shine so that the darkness is driven out. Oh, do that, friend. That's exactly what we need to do. For all my ways are before you. And of course, as I said, you know, this is the celebration. We're celebrating the graduation. This is our graduation party, if you would. And so after the graduation party, this is our statement. You know, this is one of the things that we've learned, that there's nothing hidden from his sight. The the Word of God teaches us that very clearly. All my ways are before him, and I want my ways to be his ways, and I want to walk in his way, and I want to run in his way, and I don't want to stumble in his way, and I don't want there to be darkness in my way, nor snares in my way. All of that the psalmist in Psalm 119 has covered. Let the word of God shine a light on it. And let me end you with this. Grant me with a happy nation in whose streets to find a station. There with Moses and Elias chanting endless alleluias. I hope you'll join me next week. For the prayer of the graduate on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. 
I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.